Hello and welcome to yet another YouTube video here on this channel. Today we are diving into note-taking applications for non-note takers. And just to explain what I mean uh, with that uh, is that uh, these are great applications for people who don't necessarily like to take notes. So there are uh, different people out there. I am one of those who would like to spend my whole life inside of a note-taking app if I could if uh, I if it was possible I would uh, sit around and just take notes and organize them uh, for most of my life but that isn't possible unfortunately on the other hand you have people that don't want to take notes or uh, they don't want to take notes and they have to to remember things or they just don't like the idea of note-taking. I still believe that note-taking is an important part of productivity and that's why I have a few applications that might help you uh, might help you take notes if you're not a big fan of taking notes. And the first one is Bullet. Uh, so Bullet is based on the bullet journal method, which is something a lot of people are uh, familiar with and it is an easy way to organize. So here you have the different types. So you have a task, a note and an event. You can just write uh, something and then write a description to it. Or I could turn this into a note and I could just write a note with a description to it and I could change the date. You also have uh, for things that are uh, important, so you can ch ch change the importance of this. I've never actually done that inside of any application. And you have uh, the ability to put it inside of a list and you also have the tag as well. But in order for the tag to work, you have to pay for um, the uh, premium plan, which will set you back uh, 30 dollars per year or 29.99 or 3.99 per month which isn't too bad considering you get all of these things and you get a really simple um, application that can help you take better notes the way you organize inside of here is that you have an inbox but you also have different lists so I can create as many lists as I want uh, and you can then use search to find things later. So a really simple application to use as your day to day note taker if you don't want to take or if you don't like to take notes at all. Next up on the list, we have an application called Toos and I have talked about this uh, a lot of times before, but basically the way this application works is that you have these daily notes, which can actually function a lot like a bullet journal here as well. That's mainly what I am personally using it for, more of a bullet journal and less of a note taking app. You could actually take notes here so I could do like test note and I could write down everything that matters to me or everything that is important and this also goes for like meeting notes you could actually uh, make a list called in just as an example meeting with Daniel and you could start writing inside of that list so I have a list here and you can actually nest lists within other lists. That's how organization works inside of this application. So you could basically do it like this and just start to build your own uh, knowledge base without actually too much effort. And what I like about this application is that it can actually turn into whatever you want it to be so it can be a really simple just note-taking app or it can be like a fully fledged no uh, fully fledged productivity application with everything you want and need so it has things like tasks for example so this could be your everything application this could be your bullet journal it is super versatile it is super easy to use and the best part about it is that you just open it and you just write things down. It is actually that simple and that's why I'm recommending it for people who don't necessarily like to take notes. One other thing that I really do like about it is the fact that uh, you can actually see what other people have saved here and you can follow other people to maybe gain some inspiration and that is something I've been like really into lately. Uh, 
the idea of like using uh, other people's notes to build on top of my own ideas. So that is also a feature this application has. Next up, we have an application called Voice Notes AI. And this is basically just as the name says, Voice Notes, but it has developed a lot lately. And uh, as you can see, I am taking a voice note here and it will transcribe everything I say almost perfectly most times it actually does it perfectly uh, especially in English I have struggled a little bit more uh, in Norwegian but the way this application actually works is that it uses AI to help transcribe things for you and let's say you've just taken a lot of notes like I have I've taken a lot of voice notes I can actually jump in here and I can ask my AI about um, different things so what are the main distractions that affect my productivity and it will use my own notes to answer those questions that is how you can actually I don't think that I have anything uh, regarding my um, main distractions or maybe I have I actually do have uh, I have taken notes on that but uh, as you can see you can just take a bunch of notes you don't even have to remember them and you can then uh, go in and you can find exactly the note this is actually a long one I think I posted uh, pasted one of my blog posts in here but basically that's how this works you can take a long or short voice notes and then you can use AI to find them later you can also um, make the AI create something for you whether that's a summary tweet blog post main post uh, points email clean up or you can add customs here and you can also even pick the notes if you wanted to uh, the reason for me uh, actually talking about this and recommending this for people who do not like to take notes is basically because it is really simple to just pick up your phone or uh, your apple watch i've recently been using this on my apple watch a lot and just talk to it you have the ability to add like tags you can edit it you can add more notes so you can uh, add this works like a thread if you're familiar with x or twitter and the threads you have there you can actually create threads here as well with uh, more notes nested underneath uh, one note and photos or links or you could just nest things underneath here as well but at its core it is just a simple way to talk uh, your notes out and it will do the note taking for you so this is great if you're not into note taking or don't want to spend that much time one downside with this application is that um you can't actually write your notes in here which uh, i don't necessarily like you can only talk your notes into here there is a workaround uh but uh, that is just something to keep in mind. So I work in an office with several people sitting next to me. So I can't use voice notes at work, for example. And I travel a lot as well. So uh, in my commute, I can't actually uh, take notes. That's why I'm not necessarily using this as my main note taking app. But as you can see, I have actually taken a lot of notes. I use this as a form of journaling. Uh, and sometimes when I'm right before i'm falling asleep i get an idea i just open up my apple watch and i uh, talk uh, inside of this application uh, so that is everything about this one um, i actually have the lifetime plan of this application and i have been really loving it last up on the list is actually an application called my mind i have talked about this several times before but this has an amazing web clipper where you can just clip things and this is especially if you save a lot of images this isn't as good if you don't like to take notes and you save a lot of like written notes because then you will have to do a lot of manual work you will have to open the application write down the note tag it so you can find it later uh, and that just isn't worth it but this is for uh, you if you actually take a lot of or save a lot of images or things from the web this is really good so i saved this image right here because i was working on a blog post regarding the apple event uh, and 
Uh, here it gives it a title by itself, it gives it a TLDR because I'm paying for the $12.99 mastermind plan, so I get this as well. And it actually tags things, so wearable, technology, comparison, smartwatch, Apple Watch, and I can click any of these and it will open up everything that is tagged with the same thing. I can also search using this, uh, so I could search for a specific tag for example. So in my case it will be YouTube video idea like this and I will get a list of all of my uh, YouTube video ideas. Uh, as you can see there are a bunch of them. Uh, this is actually the application I use but uh, I use it a lot to take written notes as well so it works for people who enjoy note taking as well but if you are a person that uh, would want to save a lot of images but you don't actually like to take notes or manage them, this might be the best application for you. So that was all of the different ones I had for this video uh, and as I said you will probably need to do your own research and go for an application that you feel like fits your thinking and the one that like fits best to you, but uh, these are some great options if you're not a big fan of note taking but you feel like you have to take notes. And as usual if you have any questions, anything you want to discuss, please do leave them down below and I hope to see you again quite soon.